One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Last lesson, we're going to tackle the classic fiddle tune Salt Creek in the key of A. We're going to look at a variety of ways to imply the melody, either using Scruggs licks or single string licks. I'm going to break the whole thing down note for note and then show you a bunch of backup stuff you can do on this song. All right, here's Salt Creek in the key of A. All right, let's start breaking down this intermediate version of Salt Creek. I've got my capo on the second fret. I've got my fifth string spiked up with a railroad spike up two. So we're playing out of the key of G but it's gonna sound like the key of A. Let me play the first five measures and then I'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Let's do that a couple times, here we go. Pickup, we're going to start on the and of beat one and we're going to pinch the third string and first string at the same time. So I'm going to use my index and middle finger of my right hand and what I'd recommend is counting beat one and then you're going to play on the and. So one and and then we're going to hit the open fourth string and then the third fret on the fourth string and then the, the fourth fret on the fourth string and we're going to be walking up eventually to an open G note at the beginning of measure two. So we're kind of doing a little bluesy chromatic walk up. So it sounds like this. One. That's the essence of the lick. So I just put that pinch in at the beginning, kind of adds a little banjo flavor, but you could also just leave that out and just do the walk up if you wanted to. You would just count beat one and then go two, three, and I'm using my thumb three times in a row after that initial pinch. That's going to help me play the timing. So it's and, two, three, four. And then at the beginning of measure two, we're going to pinch the third string and first string again. And that's beat one. So it sounds like this. One. Let's do that one more time. One. That's the beginning of measure two. You're gonna pinch those two notes. That's beat one. And then you're, you're gonna slide from three to five on the four string while doing a forward roll. So T-I-M with your right hand, strings four, three, one. So three, five slide on the four string. You can also do a two to five slide, but the three, three to five makes it a little bluesier. And then you're gonna go up and do another forward roll, five, three, one. So you pinch. And then two forward rolls. So it sounds like this. Let's put one and two together. One. One more time. One. And then measure three, we're going to do a two three hammer on on the third string while doing a forward roll. T I M again. Strings three, two, one this time. And then one more fifth string with your thumb, so T-I-M-T -T there. And then since we just used our thumb there, we're gonna put our first finger of our left hand on the first fret of the second string. We're gonna play that note with our index finger of our right hand. We're gonna kind of roll into that C, C chord there. So you can go into your full C if you want, or you can just put that one note down. So it sounds like this. And then we got two more notes to complete measure three. We're just gonna do a little fill. Fifth string, first string. Sounds like this. So it's one and two and three, four and. It's really important to use your index finger on that first fret, second string with your right hand, your index finger. You're also using your index finger on your left hand, but your, your thumb is playing that open fifth string. It's really important you, you don't try and use your thumb and jump down there. Really important. Even look down at your right hand if you need to. 
Now for measure four, keep your first finger down. We're gonna go into an F chord. So you're basically gonna do first fret on the second string, second fret on the third string, and third fret on the fourth string. And you can put your pinky on the top if you want, but I'm not gonna do that in this case, but that's the full shape. That's your F chord right there. We're gonna do these pull-offs. We're gonna do three of them in a row. A two open pull-off on the third string. So I'm doing thumb index there with my right hand. Really important, keep your first finger down of your left hand. And then you're gonna go down to the fourth string and hit the third fret fourth string. Sounds like this. The timing there is one E and two, three E and four. They're 16th notes, so you're getting three notes. And I like pulling back toward my palm with that pull off. You can also push push up, but I like pulling back in that case. Keep your first finger down of your left hand, like I said, that'll help you get a good tone there. I'm actually keeping my third finger down as well. So you do that three times in a row. That's into measure five, and then open fourth string, and then that little fill, fifth string, first string. So four and five sound like this. Just focus on the right hand if those pull-offs are giving you trouble. It's just... Make sure you've got that down first. Keep your right hand moving. So let's play the first five. Here we go. you don't rush those pull-offs. Let's do it one more time a little faster. One. Now measure six. We're gonna be right there after that fill, fifth string, first string, you're gonna do a two to five slide on the four string. So strings four, three, one there, T-I-M. And then up five, three, one. And then we need two more notes to complete measure six. We're gonna do thumb, middle, fifth string, first string. It's a kind of a variation on measure two. Instead of pinching at the beginning and then sliding, we're basically sliding at the beginning. And then we're putting the two notes at the end, which substitute for the pinch that we did at the beginning of measure two. So you could compare measure two and measure six. That'd be good. They're, they're a variation on each other. So measure six one more time. And then measure seven is a variation on measure three. Instead of doing a hammer on, two to three hammer on, we're gonna do a two to four slide. So we're just substituting a slide for a hammer on. Same right hand. Hear that? Instead of. You can do it either way. Slides and hammer ons are kind of interchangeable. So just gives you more variations on the theme. Now slide your first finger up to two on to the second fret on the second string, and we're gonna do a two to three hammer on thumb middle. This is gonna set up our ending lick. So it's drop your thumb down, that'll help you play the timing, your thumb of your right hand. So it's one and two and three, four and one and two and three, four and hear that? And then keep your, your second finger down and you're gonna go forward, five, two, one, five. And I'm gonna put my first finger on the second fret of the first string. So you do that hammer on, you keep your, your second finger down, and then you put your first finger on the second fret of the first string and then you roll forward. So it's. And then you're gonna put your third finger on the third fret of the first string and you're gonna play that note with your middle finger of your right hand. And then you're gonna take that finger off, keep your first finger down, and you're gonna pinch strings five and one. So it sounds like this. And I'm using my third finger there so I can keep that shape, basically. So it sounds like this. Just a bluesy lick. A lot of times on these fiddle tunes for the ending of the phrase, so this is the ending of the beginning of the A part, I like to throw basically a lick. And then measure nine, a backwards roll. 
you count that, one and two e and three, one and two e and three. Let's play eight and nine together one more time. Make sure you give beats three and four of measure eight plenty of value. You also have to get your left hand off in time and get it back down. You practice that a few times. Let's go up to measure nine. Here we go. Let's do it one more time, a little faster.